Big data and AI will bring about the fourth industrial revolution. Today, 87% of the shops on our site are from the mobile phone. It is a golden age. We are now solving problems with machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now, the oil and gas industries are betting big on AI as well. It'll be there everywhere in the context of a user's daily life. Artificial intelligence and Internet of Things have already started making inroads into various industries. Healthcare has emerged as one of the biggest beneficiaries of this revolution. For deeper insights this week, Analytics India magazine team visited the Philips Innovation Campus in Bengaluru's Manyata Tech Park. The sprawling campus, which is buzzing with the energy of over 2,500 employees, represents a multitude of disciplines and perspectives. At this campus, the team works with innovations and research in various segments in the healthcare sector. From finding affordable solutions for the Indian market to detangling administrative problems for hospitals, the team always has an interesting project on their hands. We talked to Vijayananda of Philips about his work and the team's work here. give you a very high level uh, view of where we are focusing. Mm -hmm. One is definitely on the operational workflow. Um, that means Philips has got a lot of experience because of the devices they manufacture and the collaboration that we have with our partners. For example, computer aided detection is a big part of radiology. So much so that it had led to speculations about radiologists losing jobs because of AI. In fact, we had quoted Andrew Nang saying, can your AI model detect abnormalities in bone x-rays as well as in radiologist? AI, I don't think AI is still already there where it can replace uh, radiologists mm -hmm. or uh, any of the human person who has an expertise in that area. The only thing that uh, AI will definitely help either a junior radiologist or a senior radiologist is trying to do things whatever they are doing much better. In uh, hospitals, especially in India, there is a huge waiting time for the patient. If you go to, uh, let's say, a hospital in CMC Vellore, um, the waiting time for the patient to get scanned is around 2-3 days. And uh, typically, uh, on the average, an MRI scan uh, across the globe uh, is around anywhere between 20 to 40 minutes. But in India, it is around 40-50. Uh, in Rajasthan it is around 100 uh, etc. So there is a need to, why I am saying this is, there is a need to see how you can optimize further, increase the productivity so that more number of patients can, uh, can be scanned. Because artificial intelligence in healthcare sector can not only help with the optimization but it can also change lives. Vijayananda explained this to us with the help of a use case from a hospital in Vellore. So Philips has got a division called Population Health Management where you try to kind of analyze the data coming from multiple uh, patients, multiple cohorts and see whether you can take some decisions at a policy level uh, which can uh, help in the entire, let's say, prevention of a particular disease. However, patient data in the healthcare sector is especially scattered. Vijayananda explained that there is no single healthcare provider who stores this information in one place. This leads to information being scattered in fragments of data which are stored in different places. This not only makes it extremely difficult for the data to be collected in the time of need, but it also raises different issues such as data theft and disorganization. Here's where blockchain comes into the picture. In the healthcare domain, there is a standard called uh, master patient index. That means if I go to a, uh, if a patient goes to a hospital X, and then he is given, uh, let's say, a patient ID. And then he goes to hospital Y, he is given another patient ID. There is a central repository which tries to link these two. With India, in especially with Aadhaar coming in, this is uh, really a boom. Because if the Aadhaar is uh, taken as a patient uh, registration ID uh, in both the hospitals, 
it becomes very easy for somebody to actually collect the longitudinal record of the patient. Now with the advent of artificial intelligence, many startups are popping up in the healthcare sector. From cutting-edge innovations to drastic solutions, they have it all. In the light of this, where is the sector headed? Vijayananda has a candid answer for this. Many of the startups, uh, they focus more on the actual algorithm, uh, which is only 5% of the effort that goes in the overall effort when you actually have to build a product and make it part of the hospital workflow. And uh, uh, the, many of the startups, they fail to first of all understand this particular point of uh, how to create a product or how do I make my algorithm fit in the overall hospital workflow? Sadly, very few of the emerging data scientists want to work in the medical and healthcare sector. In fact, we found out in our survey that only about 13% of data scientists want to work in the healthcare sector. Developing a model, an algorithm, it has to go through regulatory process like FDA, fight and case, CE marking, etc. etc. to actually put the models in production. So there is a lot of gestation period where you start with the uh, creating the models and when it is being deployed. So I think this is a deterrent for many of the uh, data scientists because it takes a while before they actually see the models in, in use, uh, putting, in, in, putting in production. So does healthcare sector hold many opportunities for budding professionals in data science, analytics and new tech? The answer, as Vijayananda says, is an absolute yes. Healthcare opportunity space is immense, uh, probably 20 times than uh, that I can think of in the retail or in the, or in the customer service. So clearly, the potential for incorporating AI in the healthcare sector is immense. But the question is, is India ready for it? Ravi Shankar Prasad, Union Minister for IT, seems to think so. In fact, he had said earlier this year that India needed to leverage AI machine learning and Internet of Things for innovations in healthcare, agriculture and education. So clearly, if the AI is the engine of growth, then the healthcare AI market is definitely getting geared up for the ultimate boom.